Hey YouTube, so uh, we've decided that we're going to change our garage around a little bit and we're going to get rid of the one bike that doesn't seem to fit in the garage with the rest of the toys we have. I've owned this bike now for three years and I've put all of 70 miles on it. It just became a bike that uh, I didn't ride because I bought it to take my wife to lunch or Sunday rides and it just never seemed to happen. So this one's going and in its place we're going to go get a 996 Ducati uh, to go along with the 749. So this is what the garage looks like now and hopefully if everything goes well we're going to trade that Harley for the Ducati 996. Gonna have to do a road trip to Connecticut again from New Jersey. Um, actually, he's gonna meet me halfway from where he is in Connecticut, um, and then we're gonna do a swap with uh, the bikes. So I think he's gonna get a great deal. Bike's only got 9,600 original miles on it. Uh, it's a 99, and his Ducati's a 2001 996. Um, I think he's probably a little bit better in the deal than me but uh, I would much rather have a bike that I'm gonna ride than a bike that's worth more that just sits. To get the Harley out we have to take the CBR build out. I have to move the ZX10 so I can get it around its stand. I'm gonna move the Ducati so I can get the Harley back out. I'm gonna put the 749 up front and then I'll leave the other bikes here this way uh, we get the 996 in here and being that we're taking the car trailer, we have to put the race bike in here for the night because we're going to load the Harley in there. And uh, hopefully we can get it, but that's what it's going to look like. We're going to have to take everything out of here. So we took the race bike out of the trailer and let it sit in the garage where it doesn't belong. Probably belongs to the race bike. Just for tonight, because tomorrow. Our Ducati will be in here, but I got to put all the stuff back so I can move the vet out and get the the uh, bike in the trailer. Okay. So it's it's ten o'clock on Friday night. We're supposed 11. to meet him eleven o'clock Friday night. We're supposed to meet him tomorrow in Connecticut at ten o'clock in the morning. So we look like we're pretty much ready to go. Have the garage is nice and clean. Uh, garage nice and clean. The trailer is loaded with the Harley. The dually is loaded with the trailer, fueled up. Motorhome's removed. The motorhome's been moved. Vets in the driveway. The vets in the driveway. Puppet behind it. We are ready to go. We are ready to go. So hopefully uh, we'll get this uh, thing done with no issues. Uh, in other words, no assholes on the roads and that kind of stuff because. Every one of our Connecticut runs always seems to hit tons of traffic and everything else. So go watch the, uh, uh, go watch the pickup ninja. of the Ninja where we yeah. sat in traffic for like three hours. Trying and we did another run with the Corvette on collector's edition window. That yep. traffic. Yep, collector's edition window and stuff like that. So anyway, we'll we'll see if we can get this and uh, get it up and going. It should be fun. All right, it's exactly six o'clock in the morning. We are packed, we are ready to go. We just got the title, got my helmet to try the bike out, and uh, we're ready to go. So, onward, upward. Well, we're on the road now with the easy pass, because after last time, Booked up the Ninja, Greg knows to put the easy pass in the truck. <laughs> totally. So everything went well in the trailer, she was sturdy. Let's go get this Ducati. You excited? Excited. So Greg wanted to tell me that only cool bikes come from Connecticut because his race bike came from Connecticut. You guys watched the video, you remember that trip. Um, so I think he's having fun thinking, oh, it's a, it's a back time like we did when we bought the race bike. <laughs> but I don't know. It's, let's see. Hopefully everything in Connecticut will be good. As usual on the way back, we're going to stop at Hot Grill. It's that hot dog place up in North Jersey. So it uh, should be 
good. And uh, so far, traffic seems to be okay down the uh, New Jersey Turnpike. So we're going to be heading uh, down the New Jersey Turnpike to uh, George Washington Bridge, and then we're going to meet them on the other side somewhere in Connecticut. All right, so we stopped at a truck stop because we wanted to make sure our brakes weren't holding up. Bike's huh? completely solid. Yeah, this one's not. Oh. And that one was loose, so we're cranking everything down, just double checking it. Oh. Everything seems to be going good right now. We left at 6 o'clock in the morning because we hit dead stop traffic, not in Connecticut, going into New York. Always know if you're going somewhere, how much traffic you're gonna hit. So we're in Connecticut, we got a few miles left to go. We gotta go to exit eight to meet them up. And we're at exit three. Um, didn't really hit a lot of traffic coming. Looks like we're gonna hit a lot of traffic coming home. So uh, we may try a different route. Maybe take the tap and see to the New York Thruway or something. We'll figure something out. But uh, first things first, gotta get to where we gotta go. So, there, there we have it. There was a cop on the road. So, wanted to make sure he didn't think this was a cell phone. Everything went well. We got the Ducati in the trailer. Harley's over there with them. Here's the Ducati 996. Absolutely gorgeous. Done after a Red Bull race bike. Gonna load it in the trailer, bring it home. Kind of hate my dad right now, yeah. but. The uh, race tech uh, dashboard. Yeah. The race tech dashboard. Got a suede seat. So, really nice at the bike. Let's see what side swing on. <laughs> Let's see how long I can keep this spare key from him. Probably not long. off to the hot grill to get the best hot dogs in all of the country. See, we got rid of one of those. <laughs> Don't miss it. Don't miss it. There's my french fries with gravy over there. Alrighty. Glad we went and stopped the hot grill. Yeah, yeah. I still got the keys, surprisingly. Hmm? I can tell. How was it? Good. Come here every time. Two all the way. One back to the brown gravy. Three fifty-two in the yeah, afternoon huh? and we just made it home so as usual our diesel got us <laughs> as far as we needed to go 315 miles round trip not a bad one uh, we just got the bikes in the garage so we've got the 749 here sitting back to back with the six or nine nine six I'm gonna tell you I rode the nine nine six and it makes that knife or nine seven forty nine uh, that's not they're not ever anything close to the same spikes this thing is is crazy uh, it dynoed at 115 at the rear wheels? 110 at the rear wheel. 110 at the rear wheel. Originally, before we tuned it up, it ran like 98 at the rear wheel. Then the guy messed with, there's like a little um, screw for like air fuel mixture. Messed with that and it hit 110. Right, so we have the uh, dyno sheet on it. Um, the bike had the motor gone all through. Uh, they changed the uh, rocker arms or ones that I guess maybe even looked like they might flake. 
Um, Cam Stats, the growing place off of them. Yeah, so um, bike's clean. I mean, yeah, it's it's you know, it's a nice nice bike. He gave me the stock fluster and all the stock parts he took off of it. Um, this isn't one of those Chinese um, body panels that, that have the red bull on it. He actually had this custom painted. I can tell because there's you know a little bit of dust marks in it and you know some imperfections. The ones from China or whatever, you know, they're kind of injected molding. This is painted, so uh, pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's it's a street street legal race bike, so I mean that's kind of cool in its own right. So uh, you know, he did some really nice stuff, like even the um, you know the numbers that he had on it. He had it matched to the blue. I mean, they're only a decal, but you know, I mean, he he spent a lot of money on the bike. He uh, really liked the bike. And he built it for himself. So, you know, when you build stuff for yourself, you never seem to worry about money. Uh, it's kind of how when I build stuff, that's the way it works. So, um, look, he was happy with the Harley trade. Uh, he wasn't riding this because obviously it's a solo seat. And he has two little kids now, or kids. Um, so he couldn't, you know, obviously take anybody riding on a solo seat. So um, it was just sitting in the garage. So... The Harley for him is going to be a better deal. So uh, he says to me, yeah, it's probably going to have a 26 inch wheel on it, stretch bags and everything else. But, you know, that's that's what us bike guys and car guys do. We take stuff and can't leave it alone. You got to, you know, add carbon fiber to everything and, you know, like make everything, you know, AVS, uh, uh, v, a, ASV levers, you know, I mean, so he kind of did the same thing. You know, he's got uh, CRG levers. You know, he's got carbon fiber down here. He's got it on the, the uh, you know, the uh, clutch cover. He's got it on the, uh, over the muffler like I do. I mean, yeah, so the bike is a bike like I would have built. Um, I'm going to probably go more than this is now. I'm going to probably change, uh, you know, the upper panels here to carbon fiber and, you know, just play because you know if you can't ride them in the winter at least they're artwork in the artwork at that point right so um i love these ducatis i'm going to tell you my zx10 has still got my heart i love this bike um i always will love this bike um, i'm sorry put them all here zx10 still my 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 first choice probably to to really take out and ride uh the Ducatis are one of these things that, you know, they were a, a dream bike to own. Now I have two of them, kind of fit with my theme in my garage. Um, and, you know, but I'm a Cowie guy through and through. So, um, you know, and Greg's race bikes out here and, you know, looks good again, gold chain and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, like I said, it was like, one of our bikes that we would have built you know is the paint perfect on greg's race bike no greg painted it and you know he he, he says to me you know that's the way paint goes sometimes dad you know it's like you know you can't have everything perfect unless you just want to spend you know 10 million hours trying to get it perfect and then you can put it on a racetrack and scratch it anyway so you know well like i said you know street street legal race bike which is really what it, what what i wanted so um, and again, I love my dark. I just think it's a really bad bike. Um, so, you know, totally different ride, totally different look. So, you know, nice toys in the garage. And again, nah, I don't ride them that much anyway. I mean, the, the CX-10's only got like 3,600 original miles on it. So, you know, and I, I when I sold it, the... The Harley, I had only ridden it 70 miles in the three years that I've owned it. Now you take it out, and you run it up the street, you do 10, 15 miles, you know, you got out on the bike and, you know, onward, upward, right? And when you realize that you only put 70 miles on it, that's kind of crazy. But anyway, so as usual, like and subscribe. I'm going to actually do another video after this with, you know, more close-ups with the bikes, maybe outside, lined up, maybe with the, you know... Uh, alpha but we'll see but as usual like and subscribe and thanks for hanging out with us for today because we had a lot of fun thanks for watching <laughs>